initiative there. Now, job cuts have become a topic of great interest lately, with many issues forcing companies to lay off their employees in the middle of a tough economic situation. Today, we take a look at the complicated decisions that lead to job cuts and what is in store for companies after job cuts, as Natasha Wairimo probes. Layoffs are more than just financial transactions. They are also calculated moves that play a significant role in employee welfare, corporate responsibility, and the largest socioeconomic factors. Now, in an ever-changing corporate landscape, we want to find out when companies are grappled by financial restrictions, are layoffs really the end game? Layoffs are situations where an organization uh, uh, comes to a decision where there are certain roles that uh, are are declared redundant. There are many factors that can cause a company to lay off its employees. A key factor being lack of assessment of risks, as the official receiver tells us. Uh, companies, mainly it's a borrowing issue. Uh, the second thing is uh, a lack of corporate governance. Maybe you are just trading, most of your employees are basically relatives. Uh, Basically, another thing I've seen in companies is mainly fraud. Uh, uh, the other issue is, uh, I think, lack of assessment of risk in terms of when you are borrowing and uh, the kind of risks you can take. In the context of the technology space, where human capital is often considered a primary asset, I sought to find out how companies can integrate human capital and technology without sacrificing human capital. A team, first of all, in line of that technology, without making them feel insecure that there'll be that technology to take up their job. So, skilling is very important, and also upskilling for that, that such, such kind of uh, uh, job opportunities. The business environment has been a headwind when we take a look at the cost of operating business. The government is currently looking forward to introduce performance-linked incentives that will help companies stay afloat. We are also focusing on coming up with performance-linked incentives. Uh, you are aware that uh, right now we have a program where we are meeting all the private sector to discuss their issues, the cost of business issues, and to see how we can intervene to reduce the the, the cost may be, it can be either cost of taxation or cost of capital or cost of all the cost, cost of energy. We have delved into the ethical considerations surrounding layoffs and how organizations grapple with the tension between short-term financial gains and the long-term responsibility to maintain a motivated and vibrant workforce as companies have been urged to deploy sustainable strategies. However, it's not the end game in such a way that I believe organizations that are able to evolve and are able to take up new strategies, they'll be able to avoid situations where they're in a position where they have to lay off. For TV 47, I am Natasha.